So today on Armour 3 Mod Spotlights, I am covering the HAFM Navy Mod by Applyon and Devastator. Now, as you might tell given this is a Navy Mod, it adds warships to the game. Look at the size of this thing. This is the Turkish Navy Barbaros class frigate. Now there are a ton of naval utility weapons and defense systems added to this, like active radar, anti-ship weapons, anti-torpedo countermeasures, torpedo consoles to find torpedoes for anti-ship warfare. So there's a, a helipad up on top of here as well. This is like anti-aircraft weaponry. So you see these here, these are torpedo tubes. A little lifeboat on the side there. Like artillery on the front. These things look fantastic. Obviously the textures aren't that high resolution. I mean, you probably look pretty fine from a distance anyway. You're only going to see them from a distance, usually. Given that they're ships and all. And if they were too high resolution, they just lack the game completely, like the static ships generally tend to do. They're in the best game. There's also... AI logic for the ships, so the AI can actually pilot these things. So let's get in ship here. So we've got, we've got a ship horn. Nice. Let's take this thing out into the ocean. So we have... Let's go in first person and see what we've got. So we've got a bridge here. Okay, so we have a gunner seat here. So this is the artillery on the front. You may notice I've dropped the replenishment ship out in the distance there, which is from the Russian Navy. So I've got flare shells to put into this too. See commanding officer's seat, which... Is that the one I've been in? No, this has like a... Ah! We can launch decoys from up here. Interesting. So we've got like the, um... The crow's nest view from that seat. So we can toggle defense systems, anti-ship missiles. Go look at the torpedo console. We'll bring up uh, sonar. Ooh, look at this. So we can fire torpedoes from here. Switch torpedoes from active to passive. And where's the passenger seat then? Is that just like in the side, in the back? Oh no, there's like a full briefing room and everything. So I imagine you'll be able to get passengers in all of these seats so you can like brief your team while you're driving to destination. You know what, these ships are really well made. So yeah, I'm going to pull out of the bay here. Get into like an attack position. Oh, that supply ship. Let's test out this main gun. Ah, oh, there's an artillery computer here. Single maximum high explosive. Oh, so we can actually do like fire missions from this gun. So I can't quite get the artillery on the front to fire at the other ships. Quite clearly intended for like fire missions way off in the distance rather than like actual ship to ship combat. So let's see what else I've got that I can play with. Well, there's obviously these things. Which are pretty cool. Well, either way, let's turn the torpedoes onto active. Point launcher is turned on. So let's see, is it pointing out now? It is, yes. Alright, so... It's fire torpedoes. So can you see them sailing across? No, they're quite invisible, actually. Oh, there we go. They exploded behind the ship. I guess the draft of that thing is not quite, uh, low enough to hit with the torpedoes. I should probably pick one of the other warships to try and hit with these things. But either way, the weapons and stuff are pretty cool. And they quite clearly designed these ships with, like, missions in mind, like mission makers and people that do operations or multiplayer as teams. So these are all the ships included in the mod there, so there's not just warships, there's the Little gun butts down there, fast attack butts and stuff. 
It's like a little uh, missile ship just down the back. It's obviously the replenishment ship you saw as well. See, it's clear that a ton of work has gone into this mod. The ships look fantastic. The weapon systems are great. They've got defense systems and stuff on them. So let's try and uh, put down on the destroyer over the back here. This one's from the US Navy. So my gears out. Alright, there we go. We're down. And I fell through the ship. And the helicopter will stick on the back. It did mention in the mod page that there are like scripted helicopter landings and stuff you can do to get on and off the ship. I'm not quite sure how to enable those. Though at least you can actually land a helicopter on this thing. Oh, this one has a cruise missile. Can I cruise missile this thing? I can set five waypoints. Opening the missile silos. 16 cruise missiles. Okay, I may have auto-clicked them there. Nice. And you get alerts. Missile alert bearing 94 degrees. 2,000 meters. Interesting. Oh, and there go the torpedoes. You see them jumping off the ship. You can just about see it gliding away there. God, this mod is just really, really cool. Alright, I know that I found out that it's for, like, fire support missions, but I still really want to hit a ship with this man gun. Alright. Oh, there we go. We made a hit. Oh, it's actually listing in the water now, too. Damn, this is really cool. Oh, there we go. Is it gonna sink? It is gonna sink. Oh, this is fantastic. I like this mod a lot. I really like this mod. Okay, well, I could sit here and play with this for basically forever. Or you can go and download it yourself. So, as usual, down the links in the description. Go get this mod. It's actually... Amazing. It, it's really, really good.